Centerville, Iowa. It is dry there. It is cold all across the state. The real fall weather is back. So dress a whole lot warmer today because temperatures will be below average this afternoon. We're talking highs in the 50s. It is going to stay cloudy today with a brisk north wind making it feel even colder and 30s will dominate the state overnight. 43 right now. Notice it feels like 35 and that's because that west wind is fairly strong. Temperatures across the state in the 40s and this afternoon will be back into the 50s and it looks like tomorrow morning will be even colder and that's when we'll be in the 30s and that's when it could get a little bit frosty in parts of the state. Tomorrow afternoon we will struggle to get out of the 40s in northwest Iowa and it looks even colder Saturday morning. And if you're getting up early to go to Ames to do some tailgating or celebrate the homecoming, it's going to be a chilly start to the day, but it looks nice in the afternoon. The winds today will be noticeable, as I mentioned, out of the north, the strongest up until about 5 p.m. And then the winds will die back down tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. We have very little wind on the way, but whenever we have little wind and clear skies, temperatures fall fast. A freeze warning will go into effect overnight. Our coldest part of the day is just as the sun comes up right around 7 8 o'clock in the morning. So these areas in northern and western Iowa definitely could see the first freezing conditions of the season. A frost advisor remains in effect for Des Moines. This is where we saw all the rainfall over the last 24 hours. A little more rain fell overnight, a few hundredths of an inch, and even parts of northwest Iowa reported some mixed precipitation. All of that has pushed out, but we still have plenty of clouds across the state. So it's going to stay cloudy, cool, and breezy today, and then tomorrow will be even colder with less wind. And then on Saturday, we'll start off really chilly, but we'll see a break and some sunshine in the afternoon, and that will help us get back into the 60s to kick off the weekend. I'm still seeing some needed rainfall on Sunday, pushing in from the south and west. The track does continue to shift with the heaviest rain falling along the southern border of the state by Monday and Tuesday still looks to be the big day of the week next week, and that's when it will be slightly warmer. Today will be noticeably cooler. It's heater weather. Many of you will want to put on a jacket 55 this afternoon, and again with that added wind, it will feel about 5 to 10 degrees colder. 35 tonight, and that will be in Des Moines even colder across that northern border. On Friday, 56 on Saturday, some sunshine and 60. It does look wet at times on Sunday, so if you're saving the pumpkin patch or apple orchard for the end of the weekend, you need to be prepared for some rain. We do have some more rain possible on Monday. It looks dry on Tuesday with another chance of rain on Wednesday and a high of 62. It is October 21st and the average high is around 60 degrees. Mm. So this is below average today. And again, with that added wind, it will feel even colder. And this is what I like to call weather whiplash just because it's so different. It's so than nice it has to been. start off. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So the weather rating.